Well, good morning and happy new year. Leona, good to have you join us this morning in, uh, boy, the beginning of a brand new year. Good morning, Garnet, Darla. Welcome, good to have you join us uh, this morning for a cup of faith. New Year's Day Cup of Faith. If someone could just give me a thumbs up so I know that it's working well and that's good. Thank you. Good to have you join us. Kathy from Consul, good to have you here. And uh, many others that are joining us. Lorraine, good to have you join us this morning. Happy New Year to all of you. Wasn't sure who would uh, be on this morning seeing that it was New Year's. Bethany, good to have you here. Uh, good morning, Terry. Good to have you join us this morning. My goodness, just many of you already here. Not so much partying last night, probably, uh, but it's good to have you here this morning. And I've been thinking about what would I share with you on this uh, first day of, of the year. And uh, it, it was interesting that it came on the day that I would have to share with you. So I debated maybe to give you a break. Uh, but you know what? I thought, no, I, I got something I want to talk to you about like I always do. And so uh, thanks again for joining us. I want to get into the study uh, in the book of Exodus. Uh, I want to talk to you about a question that God asked Moses that I think he's really asking us. Exodus chapter 3 gives us the story of Moses after being in the wilderness for 40 years. Uh, God draws him. I, I just love that whole that idea that, that God is the one that draws Moses. Moses is there, he's going along in his business and he's drawing, God draws him. I really believe that's what's gonna happen to many of you in 2021. God is going to be drawing us to him. And 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 there's this, this fire, this burning bush and, and Moses is there and God is saying to Moses, Moses, you're not at this juncture of your life. You are not at this experience that I have for you by accident. He says, I am the God of your forefathers, Moses. He says, Moses, what I have for you is, is, is not something that, that just a, a, a fly by night idea. No, Moses, I have planned this. This is as ordained. It has come through your family line. I am the God of your forefathers and I have a plan for your life. And and God goes to this idea, Moses, I want to use you. I want to use you to go to Pharaoh. I want you to tell Pharaoh to let my people go. And it's what's interesting is Moses' response to God. Moses said, verse 1, chapter 4, Moses answered, what if they do not believe me or listen to me and say the Lord did not appear to you? So Moses says, that's all good. You want to use me? You want me to go to those people? You want me to talk to them? He says, but what if people don't believe? I think part of this whole issue here is not just what people think, but also what Moses thinks. This is not just about what other people's unbelief is about. This is about Moses' own unbelief. So then God asked him this question. And then the Lord said to him, what is in your hand? Boy, that's a great question for us to contemplate on the very first day of a brand new year, 2021. Especially coming through what we are even within right now, dealing with this pandemic. What is in your hands? Moses said his staff. Now, let me just say that a staff was a tool that a shepherd would use. This was no ordinary piece of stick that Moses just picked up as he was wandering. This was his, his staff. There were identification marks that distinguishes his staff from another uh, shepherd's staff. It was a tool that he used in the job that he had. And, and so for all of us, uh, uh, God has given us gifts and talents and resources, uh, things that are very much unique to us. And so God says to us, what's in your hand? And most times, what are we looking at? We're looking at what is in someone else's hands. Each one of us, God has given us special giftings, special abilities. And God says, Moses, what's in your hand? He says, the staff, he replied, then the Lord says to throw it on the ground. 
Moses threw it on the ground and it became a snake and he ran from it. Then the Lord said to him, reach out your hand and take it by the tail. So Moses reached out, took hold of the snake and it turned back into the staff in his hands. That's a very powerful part of this story. See, everything that God gives in your hand, he's not going to take it from you. You have to lay it down. Moses, he says, Moses, I want you to put that rod, that very thing that you think is ordinary, but it is everything about you that I have put in your hand. I want you to lay it down. And, and, and sometimes that's one of the hardest things for us to do. See, before God can do anything with what's in our hands, what he has already given to us, we need to give it back to him. And initially, when we do anything for God and we begin that process, sometimes God gives us a glimpse of how much he could change what seems to be ordinary to become extraordinary. And Moses' first reaction is to run, to run from what God has for him. I wonder how many of you in this 2021 are running from what God has for you in your life. I don't think that any of you this morning are here by chance. I believe God wants you to, and he's asking you, what's in your hand? I want you to lay it down in 2021 because I have a greater purpose for what it is, what seems to be ordinary, what seems to be your everyday things. He says, I have a greater purpose from, for it. Let's continue reading. This said the Lord is that this so that they may believe the Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob has appeared to you. So, Paul, so God says to Moses, I'm going to use you and the people that and the people that you're going to help the people that you're going to serve. This is going to be where they believe that you I have something greater for you in your life. And so then the Lord said, put your hand into your cloak. And so he gives him another sign. And the sign is this, that you need to put, just put your hand in your cloak. And his hand turned leprous and then he took it back out again. And now you, you think now Moses would be enthralled by all of these things that God is doing. These ordinary things that he has, God is going to do extraordinary things with him. But listen to what Moses responds in verse 10. Moses said to the Lord, pardon your servant, Lord. I have never been eloquent, neither in the past nor since you have spoken to your servant. I am slow of speech and tongue. I wonder what, what is your excuse? What will be your excuse in 2021 for God? All of us, no matter what, who we are, all of us come with all of these great giftings in our lives. And, and many, many times we use excuse after excuse after excuse for God to use us. But what I love about this passage is God does not give up on Moses. Then the Lord said to him, who gave human beings their mouths? Who makes them deaf or mute? Who gives them sight or makes them blind? It is not the Lord. It is not I, the Lord. Now go, I will help you speak and will teach you what to say. But Moses says, pardon your servant, Lord, please send someone else. And so you have this, God says, first of all, who gives you any talent and ability? It all comes from God. And then Moses still says, you know what, God, I, I don't know if I want to do it. I, I wonder how many of us are like Moses. I br I'm bringing you this because I, I want you to say like what I'm going to say every day this year. Lord, whatever you have for me, whatever you've put in my hand, I am going to bring glory to your name. You know that staff, Moses, it, kept, it stayed with Moses. Right through the book of Exodus, you read more and more about that staff. In fact, uh, Moses, he, he, he complains and, and God gets angry with him. And then his, his brother Aaron comes and uh, God says, okay, I'm going to use both of you. And God doesn't give up with 
with Moses. And then it says at verse 17, God's the last thing he says, he says, but take this staff in your hand so that you could perform the signs with it. God says, I, I, I know you have hesitations. I'm going to be patient with you. And I, I'm going to bring somebody else alongside you. But what's really interesting as you read through the narrative in Exodus, Aaron really never has to speak for Moses. When Moses steps forward and he holds the staff, and, and, and that staff, you know, it, he, he goes before Pharaoh and lays down that staff and, 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 and his staff, uh, uh, Moses instructs Aaron to lay down the staff and, and Aaron lays it down and, and their staff turns into a serpent that devours the, the serpents of, of, uh, of Pharaoh's uh, um, the people, the spokesperson people for Pharaoh. And, and so this very staff God uses uh, to, Moses, Aaron dips it into the Nile and it, and it turns to blood. And, and, and most commentators said it was a staff that Moses lifted up before the Red Sea and part of the Red Sea. And, and, it, and, and it was a staff that, that Moses used in the wilderness to strike the rock and that it, it brought forth water uh, for the people. And, and it was that staff that Moses used to hold up with the help of, 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 of his friends holding up his arms that defeated the Malachites. I'm here to tell you what's in your hand is more powerful than you realize. And it might seem ordinary. For some of you, what's in your hand is the ability to help someone by baking or by preparing a meal. Or it, it might be to, to write something that, that's so powerful that it influences other people on social media or it, whatever it is. Would you say with me this morning, Lord, whatever it is in my hand, I lay it down to you in 2021. I pick it up in great anticipation of what you have for me in this year. I pray that that will be a blessing to you today. Let me pray for you. Father, we thank you for the gifts and abilities that you have given to us in our hands. And today we say what's in our hands we would use to bring freedom to others and to bring honor to your name. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, Happy New Year, everyone. I'm so thrilled to have all of you join me this morning. If this has been a blessing for, to you, why don't you share it with someone else? Remember, 2021, what's in your hand? God bless you.